Hi friends, today we will repair the TV LG. After turning on, the red light will light up sometimes, sometimes not. More often there is no than yes. The startup sound is present, but the LED does not light up. Following symptom. When turned on, the LED light up for a split second and goes off immediately. The TV does not respond to the control buttons. I decided to deal with the problem myself. I must say that I am not a master in this matter. Used information found on the internet. Don't repeat this at home. You are responsible for your actions. Follow the safety rules. Pull the power cord from the outlet and proceed to disassembly. Unscrew the three screws on the right and three screws on the left. Also another screw at the back, which holds the boards. Carefully remove the back cover. Before proceeding to repair, I removed the charge from the high voltage cable of the kinescope. To do this, take the probe from the multimeter, one end to fix on the bandage of the tube and the second to shove under the suction cup and touch the contacts. If the charge remains, you will hear a click. You can hold the dipstick there for a while. To remove the suction cup, you need to squeeze the contacts with your fingers or pliers. For more peace of mind, you need to touch the contacts to the bandage. Before inspecting the board, it is necessary to discharge the high voltage capacitor. Be careful and attentive while removing the board from the case, try not to touch the contacts. Symbols on the board. I was looking for information on the chassis MC64A. Disconnect the wires. First you need to discharge this capacitor. I removed it from the board. The multimeter showed a voltage close to nominal. To discharge use a resistor of 100 ohms to 1k ohm, power from 2 to 10 watts. It is better to take it with pliers. Touch contacts and hold for a while. After that the multimeter showed a residual voltage of about 20 volts. In order to remove the residual voltage I decided to short circuit the contacts. That's all. The capacitor is discharged. A spark may indicate the performance of the capacitor. The voltage on it is now about 1 volt. But there are other ways to check. Solder the capacitor into place. If the TV does not turn on at all, the first thing you need to check the fuse, capacitor and transistor. The fuse working, the capacitor we just checked, the transistor also has no defects. Frequent cause of failure of TVs with the chassis MC64A is C824 capacitor 4.7 microfarads 50 volts. This capacitor was faulty. Change to a similar voltage of at least 50 volts. The capacity can be two times larger. I took a similar component from another board, since it has very short legs and access to the installation site is difficult, I soldered it to the back of the chassis, but of course I do not recommend. I connected all the wires and put the high voltage cable back in. Moving on the testing, turn on the TV to the wall outlet. Great, the light's on. I'll try the remote. The LED went out, waiting for the screen to light up. That's fine, the TV is working. All disable and produce the final assembly. Rerun after assembly. Repair of the TV the hands is made successfully. Perhaps this is all. I hope this video was useful for you. Good luck to everyone. 
Bye.